Um, and Judy, I'm going to let you kick it off. Okay. So you're here to learn more about how to reach the annual giving people, and there's a lot to it. So today will be a snapshot, but if you want to talk to either of us at any point, just dial us up, no charge, okay? So direct mail works, and some of the reasons it works, and we're going to go over this, it outperforms all channels by a large margin. I was just having that discussion at my table outside with somebody. Why? Because it does. Um, so there's some very important statistics from the 2015 DMA response report rate. On a national level, it achieves a 3.7% response rate, and that's with your in-house list, okay? And a 1.0 response rate with a prospect list based on your medium numbers. Your numbers may vary, and the reason they may vary is that we're looking at a national average. Uh, timing, time of year, your content, your messaging, the list, prospecting list, in-house list, all these choices are going to be a part of what affects your final outcome. Sometimes it's fantastic, sometimes it's poor, and sometimes it's in between. But part of the power of direct mail is how to figure out how to fix that. And uh, it returns an off, a strong return on marketing investment. So it has the same return as social media, which is 15 to 17%. And when you marry the two of them together, then you have what we all want to work with today, and that's total success with your marketing campaign. Why is direct mail powerful? There are a lot of different reasons. So you can send it directly to a member of the household. You can find out if somebody has a blue eye and a pink eye, and you're selling glasses that would look great on their face, okay? You can track direct mail. How do you track it? Use response devices. If you send out a piece of mail and you don't put a response device on it, you don't know if it performed or not. You don't know how well it performed. And I have some nonprofits, God bless them, that take a marker on their BREs and whoo, put a red line down. That's a response device. Okay, but you're better off to have something you can actually track and put into your system when the returns come in. Uh, you can test different mailing lists, and that's a very long story on lists, but you can test different lists, different parts of your in-house list, prospecting lists, uh, traded lists, and because you can test them, you actually get a chance to see if they work or don't work. That's huge. You can't do that with all forms of media. You can customize with variable <laughs> date in your mail piece. Uh, you can say, hey, Judy, come see me. You know, Rebecca, thank you for that $2,463 uh, check you sent last year for my cause. Could you make it $3,643 this year? She'll say yes all the time. Or you can put it on the front and the back. You can match a, a letter, a two-page letter with a response device already filled out so you don't have to worry about the recipient. And then when they return it with your tracking code, it's already filled out. You've captured the exact same data you have in your database, not something handwritten to make an error. Uh, you can customize it with digital content. And digital embedded content basically pretty much says you can scan here and see a picture of this. You can have a live video. You can download many apps. One's called Portrait. Uh, you can send them with this embedded content. It takes your mail to a different level. It makes it totally alive. The end user isn't just physically opening something and reacting to it and reading it. They're viewing it. They're, they're smelling it. You can use color, you can use fragrance, you can use everything in mail to enhance it. And um, you can also design your different mail pieces for purposeful ma mailing or marketing depending on what you want to say. So I would like Rebecca to consider coming to my event so I can introduce her to other people that are donors. I might ask Rebecca to up her donation. I might ask Rebecca to make a, um, a major gift. I may ask Rebecca a hundred things. With direct mail, you can change that messaging to reach that person every single time, okay?